what is up you guys and of course welcome to another video from yours truly the scavenger and today we're going to play against Stardust in our LBA week 4 battle and to be honest um, going up against Stardust who I know is a tremendously dangerous player I was really 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 scared I was really redundant backed off because I knew that the best mod I had for his team was Transor overall who could deal with the majority of his mods but was probably the only one really that could stand tall against his team and without recovery um, Transor was definitely some mod that I really didn't want to be depending on but I was forced to in this game now obviously he's not bringing Asimeril which was very very good and of course without Talonflame I don't need to set up rocks it's not a priority which is stupidly important uh, but it brings Paragon 2 though which was kind of expected uh, Latios, Latias, Menetric, uh, Scissor, Azelf and Mianxiao so I, I'm seeing Mianxiao as a potential lead it's either that or Azelf so I can lead safely with Guard War uh, I'm bringing Rapid Spin, Tentacruel, Defensive 1 for Asmeril which is not here Charizard X enough speed to outspeed his Rantrum and with plus 1 I'm gonna speed Latios and Menetric and Pursuit, Titar uh, I do believe I have Koba Berry um, Kecleon to deal with Talonflame, so eh. And to Thunderous with, I do believe, Life Orb to be able to do it, kill Paragon 2 more safely. It's not ideal, but it's a thing I can do. So, anyway, with all this, my guys, let's do it. Alright, from the get go, though, he's gonna lead off with Mian Xiao, which was incredibly important because obviously, like I said, I have enough defensive investment to avoid being wanted KO'd by this thing. If it has packing Joyce and Poison Jab. So I'm gonna trace Reckless. So now we know, of course, that it's definitely a Scarf set or most likely. Uh, and the Poison Jab definitely reveals that, of course, me and of course I'm Scarf myself. He scores the Poison though, which is super unfortunate because I do pack the Healing Wish. And if I wanna pull that off, then I need to bring it safely in my next matchup and I need to pray to God basically that it doesn't have pursuit on his sisso because I do manage luckily actually to survive a poison here but if you get up rocks or anything like that and uh, guard is dead by default and I can't risk that luckily he doesn't have pursuit which is, is really important and I can bring Carixis basically to force him out Carixis is not hard walling this mob at the same time it does a lot of things right and obviously his stabs are reduced so the only thing he can do is potential knockoff I go for knockoff myself, knocking off Assault Vest, which was, I'm not gonna lie, pretty surprising, but at the same time, he told me later on here that it was basically a filler, um, filler item to be able to cope with my special attackers better. He had no use for that item, so I kinda get that. So he's gonna bring, of course, um, um, Azel Fear, and uh, sure, the rocks are co gonna come up, I, I had that in mind, but at the same time, I got a very, very good chance here of basically breaking his sash if he packs that and then go for pursuit to KO it so the rock is gonna come up like I said there's really nothing I can do about it it's just accept and try to you know try to get around it so obviously it's gonna buff by his sandstorm and uh, basically he's gonna show me U-turn which was really surprising uh, I have Shuffleberry basically to take fighting hits better so um, due to of course he's going for U-turn means I gotta catch him in the pursuit and that's a dead Aesil so Tyranitar gets a kill here and uh, so far my two kills have gone by pretty much as planned basically so Ruby's gonna come back here of course the Scissor and um, I'm not gonna take a super power bullet punch I'm just I'm not so I'm gonna bring Selfius basically to juggle back and forth I could have gone Tentacruel and go for a spin here but I was predicting him to go for a U-turn and uh, now it goes for a knockoff that's okay obviously and uh, we get the justified boot which is completely meaningless considering our um, our sets in mind and of course it didn't really matter that he got a knockoff on me since obviously the co is not helping for Talonflame which he doesn't have so I went for a skull here and um, the thing was I was supposed to have ice to win so I really wanted to go for that but I don't have it and I have no real switching for Latios. Uh, I do, or I have one, but I was thinking that I might as well stay in, hoping it goes for Draco and use that to my advantage and actually bring my Charizard afterwards, but then I can actually roost up and start being really nasty. But he's gonna overshot here, thinking I'll switch out, which I say is a fair assumption, thinking that Tyranitar could come in. But since the Sandstorm was already up, I didn't want to risk that, so I went for a Scald anyway. Uh, 
<clears throat> basically was hoping for a burn. Luckily for me, I get it. Uh, but I wanted it against Larias, of course. But, you know, it's okay. With Scissors out of the way. Um, a pretty strange kill, actually. So, right now we're 3 for 6. And we're looking really good. But here's the thing. There is not a lot of months I have for Monetric. There is really not a lot of months. Outside, of course, of our master, our beast, our dependable Tyranitar. Now, here's the thing. Thunderbolt has a max damage of doing, if, depending on the set, if it's modest, then it should do more. Uh, but basically, I knew that I could, I think max damage is 62 or something like that. So, um, I felt comfortable staying here. So he goes for Thunderbolt, he gets a pretty high roll, and um, I know that I, I'm lucky if I survive the next Thunderbolt. Uh, but he's going to go for Hidden Power Fighting, which actually doesn't take us out due to our Shuffleberry. But, nifty moves on this Manetric who survives, or actually avoids the Stone Edge, which is incredibly unfortunate. We actually lose Tyranitar here. Uh, he goes for a safe Thunderbolt here, and that's fine. I had no more to switch into. But now I know he's hidden power, which means that I can bring Charizard safely. While it's not ideal for me, of course, to bring it in against the Manetric and actually forcing myself to roost, um, because obviously uh, I have ways of getting up to rocks. Uh, but me having damaging my tentacruel means I don't really want to risk a Thunderbolt and Charizard due to him having a power fighting means that it can stay in safely here. I have nothing really to worry about. The Thunderbolt will do just about nope on me and I'm able to roost up. Now here's the thing. Uh, I need to make sure to go for a Dragon Dance here. Dragon Dance makes sure to outspeed Latias. If it is a Scarf, that is. And of course, I'm a speed Mega Manetric, which is not an issue as long as I keep Charizard intact. So he goes for Volt Switch, that's okay. Forcing down my HP a little bit. Which, like I said, it's okay. I'm not particularly worried. And here comes Latias. And I should maybe have gone for um, a Dragon Claw here, trying to take advantage of it. But at the same time, you know, I can't... If it is a full defensive one, I can't KO it with, um, with my neutral attack. I need to be at plus one. And the leftovers previously showed me that is most likely the defensive one. There would be no other reason of running leftovers after all. After all. And here comes the Dragon Claw, and that's a... Pfft, it's gone. So I created it definitely not matter. That was definitely a safe KO from that range. But here's the thing. Here comes Dolan. And um, I have two options. Option number one. I go for Flare Blitz, do around 70% of the damage. But that means a potential trap I can take us out. Or I roost, hoping it doesn't have Thunder Wave. And uh, and then basically hope I can spin because that is not gonna work. Now we need the healing wish. Now I will stay in, taking a try attack and go for a flare blitz. Uh, basically to force it down a bit. He gets a nasty crit on me and I get fully paralyzed. And yeah, that didn't feel good at all. So I was basically I was starting to stress play here. I was thinking, all right, I can take a try attack, do I be able to outspeed him. Go for the rapid spin, then bring Guard of War, go for the healing wish. That's my only chance I have here. And here's the thing. He could have stayed in with his doll and he decided not to do that, which like I said, it's completely fine. But due to the state of my charts right now, being both paralyzed and of course being low HP, I can't bring it anymore. I'm out of options when it comes to that mana, which is extremely awful. Um I'm not particularly fond of the situation I'm in now, because now Manectri can actually carry Stardash's team. So we went from a situation that we were 6 for free to basically forcing myself down to 4 for free due to me losing Tentacruel here, of course, and I'm gonna lose Guard War. Now the thing is, Guard War is dead by default. There is no way of getting around that, but with uh, the Scarf, I'm able to outspeed him, which also means that, God damn it, we're gonna get that Healing Witch off, and with that in mind, we are going to get our Charizard rid of the Paralysis, which is extremely important. And full HP, which means the previous damage from Stealth Rocks is not going to matter either. And basically, what I can hope for is that I get this Dolan out of the way. The thing is there, with me having neutral attack on um, my Charizard, I won't be able to 2 it KO it without risking the Paralysis. There is no way we're working around that, I know that. And I don't want to be paralyzed against Mega Manetric. I don't want to have a game of chance when I can work safe around it. Now, I could go and strive for, of course, this potential 4-0. Uh, 
But at the same time, it's too risky, and I know the T-Wave is coming. I might as well bring Thunderous, hoping to land two Focus Blasters, which would have been incredible. Hoping it doesn't see that one coming. So we, he goes... Or actually, I go for a T-Wave here. Yeah, I really want to shut this thing down. I, I necessarily don't, didn't need to do that. I guess I was trying to get some hex to my advantage. To be completely honest, that play was definitely unnecessary. Uh, so anyway, I go for the first Focus Blast, and it just... Close... To what I want, it definitely is that 50% hit. Um, so here I felt, alright, we can do this. There, I have a big chance of taking him out now. Without a doubt in my mind, we should be able to take this guy out. Right? Right? Fuck RNG, just fuck it. <laughs> so he lives with a smidgen of health. But it's completely fine, because now I know, obviously, due to that damage, I know he's specially defensive. Which means the secret sword from Keldeo will be just about enough to finish the Porygon 2 and it can't bring him an Etric into that it will just hurt so much so knowing that we're just gonna wrap this thing up and his last one of course is the Mega Manetric and there is really nothing Mega Manetric can do now I will for the first time ever make sure I win bigger than 1-0 because I could have given him the kill I definitely could but at this time I felt like you know my charge is full HP what the fuck am I doing Let's just get out of here, and um, yeah, basically Undyne is gonna come in, and that's GG. He 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 can't hurt me. Uh, he really 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 can't. And here's the first chance we'll see the Thunderbolt do. I think that's a little bit over 40. So at best he's a five hit KO range, or maybe a four hit KO range. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's the game. And of course, thought as a GG. If it was a well played game, you really lost a lot of momentum in the beginning, and. Uh, I think you got it back with, of course, the full of paralyzation on Charizard X. But this was definitely a tougher battle for you, if anything. So, right, some some afterthoughts, of course, is always required. Um, well, to be honest, I will say this. I think Stardust, if he would have brought Asmoreal or Talonflame or anything like that, that I would have had a tougher time. Obviously, uh, Tyranitar came through when he needed to, but he missed the Stone Edge, which, of course, was... It wasn't that important, but you know, it, it's it's something you have to kind of... If you miss... Those are missable moves, basically. I always get so surprised when you don't... You land two Focus Blasts in a row, but you can't pull a Stone Edge. You know, that always gets the best of me. <laughs> but in all honesty, I'm... I maybe could have played this game a bit more safer. Um, I definitely felt confident at 6-3 to be able to fend off Star Dash really properly. But, you know, he, he made it back. I think he made a great plays against me. And the uh, Mega Manetric definitely turned out to be a bigger threat than I anticipated once Tranator was gone. I didn't really have a proper response to it. And being a bit weak to it with my other two mons, being of course Keldeo and uh, Tentacruel, there was really no way of me of uh, treating that thing properly. And overall, I think it stayed quite tall against me. But, yeah... I mean, I had, a, I had a blast. I think, like I said, Stardust played a really nice game. And uh, I'm really sad to say that he's now at four losses in the league. Because he definitely plays better than having four losses behind him. So, I really are rooting for this guy. I think his team is tremendous. And uh, it wasn't too far off this time. It really wasn't. Uh, some proper team building. And I should definitely not be able to beat him. It, it is as simple as that. And so for everybody that's been watching, of course, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, don't forget about the TBU Finals, of course, on this Saturday. Uh, I will keep you guys posted on that. But uh, yeah, don't miss that out. And of course, thank you for the support of Scandinavian Stoutland. And i see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.